First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kwadash, and to my own selves, Green Millstone, Wallace's is Truth, and also to the Ophelak that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to spare the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of day lesson is, the devil is getting ready to come down having great wrath. So I like to say shalom to all our listeners and learn. Hope to swept you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So before we start the day lesson, I have a quick Google search here by the people voice. And it reads, it said FBI insider, a leaks planning doomsday attack to kill millions of non-compliant citizens. Let's get a little bit more. He said the World Economic Forum and globalists have completely infiltrated our alphabet agency and they are scheming a false flag attack on America that is set to leave 9-11 in the shade. So we already know that this red devil here, uh, Klaus Schwab, said there will be uh, three shocking events. Also, he said, you will own nothing and be happy. What are they planning? What are they getting prepared for? We already know that NWO, they want that total control. So let's get a little bit more. And also it has a video, you know, you can go back and watch it later, later look up the people voice. It's very, you know, very, a uh, lot of good information there. Let's go here. Let's drop down. Let's, let's get a little bit more of it. It said, this alarming information come from the FBI whistleblower Marcus Allen, who has issued a chilling warning about an in, uh, uh, imminent uh, doomsday attack, his prediction aligned with those of Klaus Schwab and the global elites who anticipate a mass cal casualty event aimed at disrupting uh, the upcoming November election. So we're going to measure the time uh, diligently. We already know that, you know, a lot of these things are constantly happening. We already know about the pork closing. We know about this chemical fire. A lot of things are constantly happening, even though we sound like a broken rap, but it's, hey, we're here. Whether you were here or whether you will for, for barely saying that it's imminent. So it's going to happen. And one thing about it, the mental law, we're constantly what? Warning you of all these opinion dangers. Let's get a little bit more said. And it gets even darker when you realize that these attacks appear to be starting right now. So one thing about this order out of chaos. And one thing about it, we already know about the um uh, that plan that they have uh says uh this uh the summit for the future. You know, already uh they already set up this uh new world order deal. It's already in place. You know, all they have to do is bring it forth. You know, we know it's coming, you know, so we're here. Let's get a bit more. It says let's drop down here. It says a high level FBI uh, staff operations specialist and whistleblower by the name of Marcus Allen has delivered an urgent message for Americans to get prepped, prep ready, said learn how to defend yourself and your loved ones. And don't forget to pray. So the men of the Lord, that's what we're constantly warning you about, you know, about, you know what I'm saying? Watch, pray, and be sober because the days are evil. Be circumspect. You know, so the men of the Lord, you know, we are, we're constantly being a watchman of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And one thing about it, the only way you will be protected and the only way you will sustain these times of trouble is the Lord is on your side. You're part of the elect. You know what I'm saying? The true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So it is fast approaching. We're seeing that they, they are constantly planning, you know what I'm saying, to bring forth this new, uh, the fourth industrial revolution, which in fact, this new system that they're getting ready to put into play, a digital society dealing with biometrics. So a lot of these things are coming. And also they said it would cause a mass casualty event. So, you know, they already know this deep uh, what uh, Bill Gates said about depopulation and this and that, you know, about, you know, trying to make the world a better place. They constantly imagine a vain thing. So let's read this once again. It said FBI insider elites planning doom day attack to kill millions of non-compliant 
citizens. So we already know that this lined up with, uh, I think, Revelation chapter 2, uh, verse 10. You know what I'm saying? The devil should cast some of you into prison. You know, and the Lord said, well, be thy faithful, you know what I'm saying, until death, you know what I'm saying? So we know that this time is coming, persecution of the saints. We know that right now, you know, a lot of things are getting ready to get very, very dark. It's getting ready to be some perilous time. And also we know that this devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. Why? Because he knowing that what well, he has a very short time. He's seeing that his end is right before his eye. He's seeing that his days are determined. So now let's go in and get a quick precept before we start this one video I have. That's a quick lesson. I seen uh, the elder out of uh, South Carolina. I seen his video. Uh, he had put out about this, uh, uh, this, uh, the same thing about the, uh, the, the people's voice, and um, and I decided to go into it. Uh, Elder Manat is out of South Carolina, you know, and also you go to his, uh, his channel and go to that lesson and get edified. So I start here. It says here, it says uh, Psalm chapter sixty four. And we'll start up at verse, let's start up at verse, because this is exactly what these devils are trying to do. You know, they, they none complying to what? None complying to what? That grain of rice, and also none complying to that, you know what I'm saying, that digital download. We put it like that, that hokey pokey, you understand? That is getting ready to come back into play, whether you believe it or not. You know, and one thing about it, we already know a lot of people are going to trust in the strength of what? Of this system, and you will be trodden down. So let's start here. Psalm chapter 64 and verse 2 said, hide me from this, from the secret counsel of the wicked. I said, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, these what? Global leaks. You know, we already know that we're in a spiritual warfare. That's why the Lord said, put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh So, you know, that you will be able to withstand, you know what I'm saying, this evil time. But just, he's getting ready to bring everything out of the bag very soon because we already know that, you know, that, that he's constantly, uh, accelerating thing but the lord is accelerating thing the lord is putting the spirit on him and also we already know that it's going to be a lot of uh massive death like we have never seen before let's read an nlt said hide me from the plots of the evil mob uh from this gang of uh wrongdoers you know what i'm saying the wef the who the global leaks you know they're trying to bring forth this plan a new world order whatever what uh uh, George uh, Senior Bush said that back, I think, in the early 90s. And it says here, verse 3 said, Who wet their tongues like a, a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even better words. So that's exactly what they're constantly doing. But, you know, but by their, you know, by their own uh, tongues, you know, it's, it's going to turn upon them. You know, they will they will not be able to perform their enterprise, even though they're, they're constantly, you know what I'm saying, you know, speaking w great words, you know, constantly, uh, uh, exalting and opposing it, you know, opposing, and exalting themselves against, you know, the words of Yahweh by Hashem. I say he's imagining a vain thing. You know, he's thinking that he is going to, uh, constantly stay in power, but man, the Lord's got, Man, the Lord's going to bring him down. We've seen what's going on between Israel and uh, Iran. Things are getting ready to be popping. Verse 4 said, they, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. So exactly what they're getting ready to do to come down with great wrath uh, upon the perfect. And who is the perfect? Even though we're in our Lord's state right now, which in fact who is considered as the perfect is uh, Israel, the Negro, the Latinos, the Native Indian. And one thing about it, we already know that, you know, he's getting ready to try to bring it forth, you know, constantly having all these different uh, uh, secret meanings. And one thing about it, the Lord is constantly making this man bear and bear. And one thing about all these nations, uh, they're fed up with this man. They ain't knowing who is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know, see Esau, Edom, the modern day so-called white man, the red man, the Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. The first one came out red. Uh, so let's read it again. It said verse four, uh, Psalm chapter 6, 4 and verse 4 said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. So one thing about it is that, hey, you know, they're getting ready to to bring these uh, things into play. But one thing about it, we already know that the Lord is getting ready to disappoint him. Verse 5, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune and lands a uh, snare uh, perfectly. Uh, they say, who shall 
see them. And one thing about the men of the Lord, the Lord reveals his secret to the servant, the prophet. And one thing about it, we got this man spot on. He is the devil. We constantly want you left and right. They constantly in this evil matter. You know, they the one that won't be compliant. They will tell you they will take you to these FEMA camps, to these facilities, to these chipping stations. You know what I'm saying? Do all sorts of uh, things to you. And, 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 you know, put it in, you know, simpler term. But, you know, one thing about it, we already know that the system comes into play. He causes all uh, both great and small, rich and poor. We get that in a minute. So we are here spot on. So let's read in NLT verse 5. says they encourage each other to do evil and plan how to set their traps in secret. Who will ever know it? They ask, and one thing about it, we will know that the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem And one thing about it, this man is moving with warp speed any given day. This man is getting ready to bring it forth. He is going to try, but he is going to be cut off. We cannot wait. Verse six: They search out iniquity. They accomplish a, a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them. And the heart is deep, or the mind is very what well, deep and cunning, lies and deception. You know that this man right now is, hey man, he you know, we're not ignorant of Satan device, and also about it. You know he, you know he, he is, uh, uh, he's the what that bloody and deceitful man. Let's read in verse six that as they plot their crime, they say we we have uh, devised uh, the the perfect plan. Yes, that NWO said the. Uh, the, the human heart and mind are cunning. Verse seven said, but but the Almighty shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. And one thing about it is what the Lord is getting ready to do. You know, he's getting ready to set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. You know what I'm saying? That's what we constantly seeing left and right over there in the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? It's the Lord is constantly putting it together. He's getting ready to bring it to, to a close and usher in our kingdom, our rest. That's what we're constantly longing for each and every day. Even though this man is constantly a vain, uh, a, 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 a vain thing. It's something that's non profitable. He's getting ready to go into slavery for a thousand years. After slavery, he will be totally eradicated. He will be no more. So that's that's going to be the end of him. And one thing about it, we already know who is in perfect control and who is calling all the shot, which in fact is who? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Come on, man, bring all whatever you're trying to bring. It's not going to work. So now, let's get this little quick video. And our video will start a quick lesson, and I hope that you will get edified. People assume uh, we are just going back uh, to the good old world which we had. Um, and everything will be normal again in how we are used to normal in the old fashion. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. I see the need for action. I see the need for a great reset, which means to exercise here true global citizenship. Why not to tie government aid to the green economy which we have to create? Why we are here when we talk about the Great Reset to talk also about innovation. How can we do things differently from what we used to do? And if we speak about differently, it means also how can we do it to make sure that... A you will own nothing. And you will be happy. So we see that we, you know, they're getting ready to try to roll this out. The devil's getting ready to come down with great wrath. So let's go here. Let's go here to uh, Revelation chapter two. I quoted it. I might as well get it. Revelation chapter two and verse 10. Revelation chapter two and verse 10. Let's start off here. Revelation chapter two and verse 10 said, Fear none of those things which thou shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation. Ten days be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So we already know that we're going, you know, that, you know, if you are going to try to live godly, you know, if you live in godly, trying to walk in the path of righteousness, and you're part of that uh, one third remnant, you are going to suffer persecution also great tribulation that you have never seen before that's why the lord said fear none of those things you know don't care what this man is trying to bring forth you know these guilting these fema uh 
these uh FEMA um uh these FEMA uh 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 facilities, put it like that, you know, these fifteen minutes, whatever he's trying to bring is biometric, it's digital society. The Lord say, No fear none of those things. You know what I'm saying? You know, just be faithful. You know, the same that endure, the same shall be saved. So we know that a lot of us will you know, some of us will be put to death, but the Lord said he will give you a crown of life, immortality, rulership, spiritual power. It is right around the corner. Our final rest. You know, we're ready to rule. Uh, verse 10 it said, said, don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. You will suffer for 10 days. But if you remain faithful, even when facing death, I will give you the crown of life. Hey Amen. One thing about it is that, you know, the Lord laid his his life down, you know, for the elect. And one thing about it is that, you know, say it will be a beautiful thing. You know, so whatever end it may be, the Lord said that he will give you a crown of life. And one thing about it, you know, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, is faithful and true. All we must do is constantly trust and believe him. So let's look up this word, uh, devil. Let's look it up right quick in the interstellar. Let's get it for edification purpose. I know most of us know, but for the, the beginners, let's go to it right quick. Let's see here. Where is it? Let's see. I think I passed. There it is right here. Let's go to this one here. G12, uh, 28. See what it says here. Strong's G twelve twenty eight Diabolos 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 Diabolos. Let's see what the online biblical usage said. It said said prone to slander, slanderous, accusing f falsely. Who does sound like? Let's get a little bit more. Let's drop down to uh this one here. The it said metaphor said applied to a man who by opposing uh the cause of the Almighty. Said, said may uh may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him you know what i'm saying we already know who that is that is what esau edom you know what i'm saying the so-called white man the devil that the bible speaks of so we're seeing right now that's what he's constantly he's that slanderer he's constantly uh, accusing falsely you know the lies deception you know so you know just want to bring that out for edification purpose so we're seeing that we are very close, that this man is getting ready to bring it forth. You know what I'm saying? This new society, a new way of doing things. We go over these things left and right. You know, so we already know this is going to go into what? Revelations chapter, what, 13, uh, 15 through 18. But we're, we, we, you know, we won't go into it. It's going to be a very short lesson, but he calls us all both great. We, we might as well get it. Huh? Ain't no need to be in ladies. That's my way to get it. Let's go ahead to Revelation chapter 13. Because this is exactly where we at. This is exactly what they get ready to bring forth. Let's get this one right here. The Karagma is very, we're very close to it. It's verse 15. Let's get it. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. And he calls, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and call that as many as would not worship the image or the beast should be killed. So that's exactly what they are going to do. If you don't come in compliance, none compliance, he said here, they should be killed. You know, this, the image, what this system, you know, this NWO, you know, so we already know it about the beast, you know, the revised Roman empire. There is no new thing under the sun. You know, well, hey, it, it, we, man, this Bible is spot on. The WHO, the, 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 the WEF, but also these global elites, you know, they're trying to bring forth another society, you know, without Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, but they're in for a rude awakening. You know, that's why we're seeing all this different uh, chaos, all these different events that's constantly happening all across the world because they're trying to bring in this new way of doing things, you know, trying to put it in, you know, and clean the term because we already know what YouTube, how they play these games, you know, and the so-called white men also. It says, verse 6, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark to Karagma in their right hand or in their forehead. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, we already know about the RFD microchip, that grain of rice, and also we know about the newer links, you know, these implants. And one thing about it, if you do not comply 
you know, uh, to be a part of this a uh, new way of doing things, you shall be put to death. And one thing about it, that's what we're constantly warning you left and right. That's why they're constantly bringing forth all these different uh, events, these fearful events, these uh, uh, these uh, uh, all sorts of uh, mayhem, all sorts of uh, uh, confusion, you know, put it in like that. But we know right here that you will not be able to do anything. You will own nothing and be happy. You know, and one thing about it, you know, they want you to comply. But if you comply, you're going to have to suffer that second death, which in fact is the lake of fire in Revelation chapter 14. I said, verse 17, it said, and that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark, the karagma, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600. Three scores and six, that's that badge of servitude. That's where we at. That's what they, that's why, uh, that, that's what they want you to comply to. But if you be in non-compliance, you're already knowing that the devil is going to come down with great wrath. But he's in for a rude awakening. You know what I'm saying? When the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord is going to lift up that standard. So all we must do is constantly what? Trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem. We are here. <laughs> hey, we are here. So now let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to, um, let's go here and close out in Ephesians chapter 6. We close out here. Put on the whole armor that what that protection, this wisdom, this knowledge, it will sustain you. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, we will be in the what the secret place of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We might get one more. Let's see here. Um Ephesians chapter six. We'll start up around verse. Start up around verse uh verse eleven. And it says here, put on the whole armor of the almighty that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And I, but we already know who the devil is. And, and, and that armor goes into that protection. This wisdom, this knowledge, this gospel will sustain you in times of trouble. And one thing about it is that, you know, we're constantly, uh, constantly a sign and crying left and right. Excellent Lord to have mercy upon us that we're part of what the hope he let. Because we know that this red devil is getting ready to lose his mind. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, so against spiritual spiritual wickedness in high places. That's what we're doing right now. We're in a spiritual warfare. We're constantly seeing all these different principalities, demonic uh, 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 presence uh, is here, that gross darkness. But the Lord is getting ready to shed light on all these things. He's getting ready to bring this nightmare to an end. So that's where we at. These global leaks are moving because he's seeing that their days are determined. A lot of them are going to do a scat cat. When the Lord show up, they're going to go to these bunkers. You know, they think they're going to rise up out of the ashes, out of the smoke, out of the, the destruction. Yeah, they're going to rise up and go straight on into slavery. And we cannot wait. Verse 13 said, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Almighty that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days, fast approach, and having done all to stand. Man, we're here, man. So that's what we got to do. Constantly, you know what I'm saying? Put on that whole armor. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, you know, we're not worried about what he's getting ready to try to perform. The Lord said, you know, hey, don't don't worry about, it. you know what I'm saying? Don't fear none of those things. That's where that's that's where we're getting at. The middle Lord and also uh uh the women's altar, that great multitude. You know, we don't you know, we don't have the spirit of fear. You know, we knowing that the Lord is going to return. We knowing that the Lord is going to set the record straight. We knowing that the, what the writing is on the wall. You know, say go ahead and do what you got to do because one thing about it, your time is very short. So now, the title of the day lesson once again is the devil is getting, uh, getting ready to come down, having great wrath. So I like to give all. So like, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kwadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.